Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And you see a big grin on my face. Today, I present the Macallan Ruby single malt whiskey, new on the market since 2013, and one of my very, 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 very favorite. And uh, there's a new series of Macallan single malt whiskies out on the market. It's called Gold, Amber, Sienna and Ruby, depending on the color of the whiskey. Global demand for Macallan single malt whiskies is so high, extraordinarily high, that they are no longer able to deliver the 10 and 12 year old single malt whiskies from sherry casks or the fine oak series. No. Um, the gold and amber whiskies had to be filled with slightly younger whiskies. And uh, in the ruby we have here, it's quite expensive, around 150, 160 euros a pounds, and perhaps 200 dollars. Um, there are old whiskies in it, and uh, the cask selection is extraordinary. It's First fill Oloroso sherry casks, the best you can have. And uh, they are really first fill and 100% of this whiskey was matured this way. Um, even the 18 year old sherry casks, single malts, they are a mixture from first and second fill sherry casks. So this one is the top of the line and uh, they might also contain slightly younger single malt whiskies, so there's more power in the spirit. And uh, well, we will see. Um, <clears throat> I'm, as I said, this is one of my very, very best. This is from my personal collection, and friends of mine uh, use heavily this bottle, so it's. It's only third filled any longer. And uh, when you see this box, you can have these ruby tones uh, which show the color of the whiskey. And this ruby is typically seen with ruby port casks. But this one, as I said, Oloroso sherry cask. The Macallan. 1824 series has been created to showcase the beautiful range of natural color found in our whiskies. It's not co artificially colored. Each expression becoming increasingly darker and more complex, from gold over amber over sienna to ruby. Bob Delgano, the Macallan whiskey maker, has handpicked individual 100% sherry casks to deliver the rich color that distinguishes this expression, a single malt of exemplary character and flavor. The Macallan six pillars on which they built their philosophy, the spiritual home, Easter Elchis house proudly watches over the distillery in Speyside, Scotland, built in 1700. This Jacobean manor house is the Macallan spiritual home. If you have the chance, go and visit. Curiously small stills. The Macallan's curiously small and uniquely shaped copper stills help concentrate the flavor of the new make spirit. Mm, that depends. Uh, smaller stills do does not separate uh, the substances in the distillate. Very good. So very high stills bring a lighter, uh, uh, weaker alcohol and smaller stills bring a heavier more heavy alcohol. The finest cut. The Macallan takes one of the finest new make spirits cuts of any distillery in Scotland, typically a mere 16%. <coughs> I'll say that. Uh, exceptional oak casks. Well, here we are at the point. The Macallan 1824 series is exclusively matured in sherry oak casks from Jerez, Spain. These casks are filled with aged sherries and left to mature before receiving our new make spirit. Macallan owns its own bodega in Jerez. 
Natural color, the interaction of spirit and wood alone delivers the variety of rich natural colors that distinguish the McCullen range. And peerless spirit, the McCullen is celebrated far and wide by experts and discerning drinkers as the world's most precious whiskey. It's called the Rolls Royce of the whiskies. Whiskey maker notes. Disturbed from a long sleep in a dark and quiet warehouse, European oak picks the nose before reluctantly admitting rich dried fruit and an edgy trickle of trickle. A hesitant sweetness enters, then oak reasserts itself, burnished and mature. On the palate, a rush of ginger, nutmeg and resin, herald orange, sultana and resins with their restrained but pervasive sweetness. Clove is here and gone, leaving oak, the undisputed maestro. The finish of this ruby rich spirit is long, lingering and reflective. Yeah, marketing has a word to say. We now look at the real spirit of this Macallan. So this is bottled at 43% as most of the Macallan bottles today are. The original bottles today are. Oh, sherry all over. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Very, very rich aromas. And deep below vanilla carrying everything. And then Spanish oak on top of this. The vanilla and caramel is fast gone and the oak takes over. Oak and dark aromatic fruits. Monstrous oak. Oh. Dark and dried fruits. Now becoming lovely. Oh. A little sweetness on top. Fruity sweetness. And more oak. Strong oakiness coming with orange zest, a bitterness of oak together with the sweetness of orange juice, raisins, oakiness, cloves, spiciness. Ginger, a little ginger, and chocolate, cacao, bitterness in the back. Very long and rewarding finish. Wow. What a wonderful dram. Mouth-watering. Oakiness. It's not as old as this McKellen 1980 was. So this oakiness is not too bitter. It's still acceptable. <laughs> Together with a, this orange juice sweetness. So the bitterness is not too strong, so the contained whiskies are not too old. And this might be the reason why there is no age statement on this bottle. How old these whiskies will be? I imagine that there are several older casks in it. 
yes. They have typically uh, a batch size of 50 casks. I don't know if they were able to deliver those 50 casks for this old bottle, uh, for this particular range. Um, but there will be also younger whiskies in it. Otherwise, this fruitiness, this fresh fruitiness wouldn't be there. Most of the fruitiness would be old, oxidized, dried fruits. You know, the fruits are fresh, so there might be some fresh casks five years, seven years, eight years in it. But I can't smell any unpleasant youngness. So for such a bottle in this price range, the casks are well selected, definitely. masterpiece of Bob Dalgano, the whiskey maker at McKellen. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Stay tuned, there's more to come and if you like this video give me your thumbs up.